In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Morning, Father. At maligayang pagdating dito sa Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you my, brothers my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all, by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Amos strongly denounces the wanton revelers who think only of their enjoyment and are not affected by the suffering of their countrymen and the threat of invaders. God's judgment will soon fall on them. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, Woe to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock and calves from the stall. Improvising to the music of the harp, like David, they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils. Yet, they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Apostle Paul encourages Timothy to continue living in the values of a man of faith. This kind of life brings glory to God and is a powerful testimony to unbelievers. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time. The King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in an approachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see, to him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Though our Lord Jesus Christ was rich, he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, there was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father, Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember you received what was good during your lifetime, when Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead 
goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not list, rather, if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga kapatid, sa ating mga pagbasa, narinig po natin na tayo binibigyan ng mga pabala ng hindi tayo humantong sa kapahamakang walang hanggan. At tayo ng ating makamtan ang buhay na walang hanggan. Ang Diyos na ating lumikha ay mapagmalasakit at mapagmahal. Di niya nais na tayo ay maghirap. Sa halip, ninanais niya, gusto niya na tayo ay guminhawa. Maraming pagkakataon sa ating ebanghelyo, sa mga nasa banal na kasulatan, na ang mga ito ay ipinakikita, ipinahahayag ng Diyos. O di kaya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Pinagaling niya ang mga may sakit. Binuhay niya ang kaisa-isang anak ng balong babae sa naim. Pinakain niya ang mga nangagugutom. Pinatalsik niya ang mga demonyo na nananahan sa mga tao. Ilan lamang ito mga kapatid sa mga pagpapahayag, pagpapakita ng pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Ayaw niya na tayo ay maghirap. Kaya kayo na mga nandirito ngayon na may daladalang mga intentions, panalangin sa ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng tulong ng ating mahal na inang si Maria, makakaasa po kayo. Pakikinggan ng Diyos yan. Alam ng Diyos ang inyong mga dinadala na mga problema o di kaya panghihirap. At Pati na sa mga napapagod, napapagal, ayon nga sa Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo, chapter 11, verse 28, ang sabi niya, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So, yan ang pakakatandaan natin, mga kapatid. Ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ayaw niya na tayo ay maghirap. Kung hindi man tayo maaaring guminhawa sa mundong ito dahil sa mga pangyayari o sitwasyon na hindi maiiwasan, sigurado po sa kabilang buhay, katulad ng narinig natin sa ating ebanghelyo, ay pagkakalooban tayo ng kaginhawahan. So tayo na kanyang mga tagasunod at alagad ay dapat na malaman natin ito upang alam natin kung anong gagawin natin. So narinig natin sa ating unang pagbasa mula kay Propeta Amos ang isang uh, sitwasyon na kung saan merong kapalaluan ang mga Israelita at merong banta ang Diyos. At dito naman sa ating Ebanghelyo, yun nga, si Lazaro, nung siya nabubuhay, isa siyang kulubi, nagmamakaawa, walang makain, samantala merong isang mayaman na nagdaranit ng marangya. At araw-araw, saganang sagana sa pagkain. Si Lazaro ay aali-aligid doon sa bahay ng mayaman upang mamulot man lamang ng mumhong nahuhulog mula sa hapag ng mayaman. Mga kapatid, ito pong narinig natin sa ating ebanghelyo ay eh huwag po nating para bang sabihin kaagad na Masama yung mayaman at mabuti yung mahirap. 
Yung mayaman, hindi niya kasalanan ang pagiging mayaman. O hindi yon ang nais po na, ang, ang titingnan po natin. Ang hindi maganda o ang kasalanan ng mayaman dito sa ating ebanghelyo ay yung kanyang pagsasa walang bahala sa sitwasyon na nakikita niya na nasa sa kanyang harapan kay Lazaro. So, maging maliwanag po sana yan sa atin. Huwag po nating kalimutan na tulungan ang ating kapwa, lalong-lalo na yung mga mahihirap at nangangailangan. Noong kapanahunan ng mga Israelita, ang sabi nga ni Propeta Amos, kahabag-habag kayong namumuhay na maginhawa sa Sion, kahabag-habag kayo na hihiga sa mga magagarang kama at nagpapahinga sa malalapad na himlayan habang nagpapakabusog sa masasarap na pagkain. So ang hindi po sinasabi sa ating unang pagbasa ni Propeta Amos ay iyong walang pagsasawalang bahala ng mga taong ito sa mga mahihirap at may mga pangangailangan. So ulitin po natin, hindi ma masama, hindi kasalanan ang pagiging mayaman. Kung meron man, ang masama ay yung kapag ka hindi natin nakikita o hindi tayo marunong tumulong sa ating kapwa. Ano ang banta ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pagsasalita ni Propeta Amos? Ang sabi niya, kaya nga kayo ang unang itatapon. Matitigil na ang inyong mga pagtitiging at pagsasaya. <clears throat> so mga kapatid, maraming sitwasyon na kung saan pwede tayong tumulong. Hindi lamang sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng limos. Nakakatuwang makita, mabalitaan ang iba nating mga kapatid kapag ka nagdiriwang ng kanilang kaarawan sa halip na sila ay maghanda. Anong ginagawa nila? Naghahanda sila, nagbabalot sila ng mga pagkain at dinadala sa mga bahay ampunan o di kaya, ayun, basta na namang nagdidistribute ng mga pagkain sa kalsada sa mga sa mga walang-wala. So, isa yon sa maaari nating gawin. Pero hindi lamang sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng limos, pagbibigay ng pangkain, kahit na sa ating uh, pagiging charitable sa ating kapwa. So, di kaya sa pamamagitan ng pagkakaloob, pagbibigay ng panahon, lalong-lalo na sa mga nangangailangan ng pansin, kulang sa pansin, sabi nga nila. So mga kapatid, si Pablo, narinig din natin dito sa ating ikalawang pagbasa, ang kanyang payo sa kanyang sulat kay Timoteo. Ang sabi niya, Ikaw, na lingkod ng Diyos, sikapin mong mamuhay, sa katuwiran, kabanalan, pananalig, pag-ibig, pagtitiis at kaamuan. Gawin mo ang buong makakaya sa pakikibaka alang sa pananampalataya at kakamtin mo ang buhay na walang hanggan. Hindi man sinabi pero kasama po dito ang pagtulong sa ating kapwa. At sa bandang huli, isang payo maliban sa sinabi ni San Pablo, makikita po natin sa bandang hulihan ng ating Ebanghelyo. Dahil ang sabi nitong mayaman ay meron siyang mga kapatid na nabubuhay pa at siya ay 
nakiusap kay Abraham na ipabalikin si Lazaro doon sa kanila para bigyan ng babala ang kanyang mga kapatid at nang hindi sila humantong din sa kanyang kinaroroonan. Ano ang sabi ni Abraham? Andun na yung mga sinulat ni na Moises at ng mga propeta. Pero ang sabi nitong mayaman, hindi po kasi kapag ka may nabuhay na namatay, bumalik para sila bantaan, baba, bigyan ng babala, siguradong makikinig sila. Pero ang sabi ni Abraham, hindi. Kung hindi sila makikinig sa mga salita ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng mga isinulat ni Moises at ng mga propeta, hindi rin sila maniniwala kahit na merong nabuhay, merong namatay na nabuhay upang magbigay ng babala sa kanila. So para bang sinasabi rin niya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo yung tungkol sa Kanya? So ano ang nais po o na dapat po nating malaman sa puntong ito? Basahin at isabuhay ang mga salita ng Diyos. At ang mga sinulat ni na Moises, Moises at ng mga propeta. Dahil kapag ka hindi po natin pinaking, pinakikinggan ang mga ito, ganun na rin. Hindi na rin natin pinakikinggan ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Magsitayo na po ang lahat. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born, born of the, the Father, Father before all, all ages, ages. God, from God from God, light, light from, from light, true God, true God and true God, begotten and made, made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him, him all things were made, for us for men, and men for and for our salvation, salvation He came he down from heaven. heaven. And by the, and by the Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, and became man. man. For, For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried, buried and rose again on the third day in, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his, and his kingdom will have no end. end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, you love us so overwhelmingly that you never hesitated to enter our wretched humanity except sin through, with, and in Jesus, your Son. Help us reject our tendency to go astray and imitate your unconditional, unquestioning love. And we pray, Father, help us grow richer in love. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, open wide shut our minds and hearts that as a church, we may not turn a blind eye to the needs of our brothers and sisters, especially of those who are hurt or discriminated against, against in any way, shape, or form. We pray. Father, help us richer in love. <clears throat> Loving God, illumine the hearts, minds, and wheels of the public servants so that all their discernment and actions may always be directed toward the praise, service, and reverence of your most holy name, we pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, preserve and protect our seafarers as they continue to serve humanity through the self-sacrifice they make. Sustain their families and friends while they are far from home. We pray. 
Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, embrace our brothers and sisters who are currently struggling in their mental health. May they find comfort and hope from you through the people around them, we pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, welcome our departed loved ones into the richness of your eternal, eternal presence in paradise, we pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, direct, we beseech you all our decisions and actions so that we too may become enriching grace towards each other. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily 
effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, save us of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under my mind. roof, but Long only the say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united, whenever we proclaim the death, his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank Reverend Father Jaime C. Alamillo, OP, for presiding over our Novena Mass. We would also like to thank all the participants and servers, and most especially the devotees and the sponsors of this Holy Mass. May the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, bring us closer to her Son, Jesus Christ. Please stand. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo sa ikatlong araw ng nobina para sa kapistahan ng Our Lady of Manawag. Ang piyasta po ay magaganap sa October 2. At naway pagpalain kayo ng ating Panginoon sa inyong pagdalo at sa inyong pagtulong sa inyong kapwa, lalong-lalo na sa mga nahihirapan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Gagawin po natin ngayon ang pagbabasbas para sa mga may sakit. Isama po natin sa ating panalangin yung mga wala rito, lalong-lalo na yung mga nanunood sa ating misa ngayon. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 